See, now, choice is not easy. Change is not easy. Focus and concentration and objectivity, they're not easy. Nothing's easy. Choice is not easy. Desire is not easy. Self-assessment is not easy. You see, anybody that tells you these things are easy is handing you advice by admonishment that does not take into consideration potential and individual capacity to perform under pressure, under confusion, distraction, fear, uh, under the pressure. I'm going to uh, reset this. Let's see, uh, put this right up here. See, we get a better picture. You see, under the pressure of confusion, distraction, disillusionment, your past experiences and your past frustrations, your phony expectancies that have gone unanalyzed, unquestioned, you just let them come on you out of control. And these are the things that in the present as behaviors will determine the outcome, will determine how you enter the arena, will determine how you're perceived will also govern the possibilities. The question is, what's the protocol here? How do I do a self-assessment? That's all that's important. The only thing in a situation that's important is what you're saying and doing, how you're responding. You only have control over yourself but you have to know how to use suggestion innuendo body language tone attitude on display rhetorical skills that's the continence the phenotype the behaviors That's everything. He's got to look and consider how he's going over, just like an entertainer on the stage. Be aware of this, or you're going to be murdered out there. This is all called the politics of the situation. But understand, it's very hard to get past appearance. That's the proportions. That's the phenotype, temperament, constitutional factors, the height, the hair. And compensate for all that. How do I do that? What do I say? What do I do? How do I do it? All that taken together, all those actions equals the outcome. Notice I said nothing about the other. You can do what little you can do predicated on the uh, Dr. Milt Erickson mirroring technique, trying to use showmanship to establish a rapport. Nothing happens without a rapport and a connection. 
but you cannot establish a rapport and a connection, even get a shot at it if you don't know how to approach hello and survive the visual in the first place. So we use all kinds of subterfuges to get into the now and attempt to be successful with it. Get a good outcome. But we never ask ourselves, ought I to want that outcome? Am I hoping just to get lucky? Do I want the outcome because I want to be like everybody else? That's the road to perdition. Because you can't follow a leader on this. You're limited by your appearance, your personality, your phenotype, your continence, your phenotype meaning, your body presentation, your behaviors, your physical aspects to the other in the environment, in the arena. It's a contest. And then don't forget, there's an audience. There's a social situation. There are the legal aspects. Everything has protocol, rules, and regulation of legal aspects, even though they're unspoken. So now we see all of this taken together, and I can go on and on. It's far more complex than a Tony Robbins can make it in coming up with a strategy that allegedly gets a breakthrough quickly. The real question is, Tony Robbins, can you make me tall like you, Tony?